Does anyone know how a Hammond organ produces sound? You know, who know. Tell us, Mr. Audio. Unlike pipe organs that produce sound by blowing air through tuned pipes, the Hammond organ, invented in 1935 by Lorenz Hammond and John Hannard as a cheaper alternative to the pipe organ, used an electromagnetic pickup that was not unlike the pickups that were starting to be used on guitars at that time. Hammond organs worked like this. A motor rotates a shaft that has a series of tone wheels that actually resemble circular saw blades. As they pass close to the pickup, the rapidly rotating teeth of the tone wheel generate an electrical current that produces a particular pitch. In addition to the fundamental pitches, Hammond organs also have tone wheels for the higher and lower harmonics, which can be mixed together by using drawbars that work like faders on a mixing console. Another popular Hammond feature with jazz and rock musicians is percussion. Enabling percussion adds a short duration overtone when a key on the upper manual is played. The duration of the overtone can be adjusted and is either the second harmonic, the octave, or the third harmonic, a fifth above the octave. This overtone enhances the attack of the note. In the 1970s, Hammond abandoned tone wheels and started manufacturing organs using electronic circuitry like the other organ makers. Hammond's newer organs weren't nearly as popular and they went out of business in 1985. Suzuki Musical Instruments purchased the trademark and using digital samples of the original tone wheel organs introduced the new B3 in 2002. And workstation users now use software synths that closely emulate the sound of the original Hammond B3. Thanks, Mr. Audio. For more interesting facts about sound, visit Mr. Audio at soundimages.com.